Understanding and coping with burnout. What is burnout? Burnout is a state of exhaustion caused by excessive and prolonged work-related stress. It involves the gradual depletion of our resources for work and shows up in three main ways. Feeling physically, emotionally and mentally exhausted. Inability to feel our normal levels of empathy, care and compassion for others. And a reduced sense of accomplishment and purpose. How is burnout different from feeling stressed? Stress and burnout lie along the same path. In other words, if we experience too much of certain types of stress for too long, that can lead to burnout. When we say we are feeling stressed, we generally mean we feel burdened or overwhelmed by too many pressures and demands. Usually, however, when we feel stressed like this, we still imagine that if we can get everything under control, we will feel better. On the other hand, when we are experiencing burnout, we generally feel empty and mentally exhausted, unmotivated and largely beyond caring. We may also feel like there is not much hope of the situation changing. While we are often aware of being under a lot of stress, we do not always notice when that begins to push us towards burnout. What causes burnout? There are three main types of contributors to burnout. These are 1. Work-related Things like heavy workload, long working hours, insufficient resources, exposure to people's suffering, job insecurity and external pressures and demands. 2. Lifestyle-related Things like working long hours without enough time for relaxing and socialising, not getting enough sleep, lack of close and supportive relationships and patterns of taking on too many responsibilities. 3. Personality related. Things like perfectionist tendencies such as feeling like nothing is ever good enough or completely finished. A high need to be in control which often leads to a reluctance to delegate or ask for help. A high achieving driven personality and a more pessimistic view of yourself and the world. How does burnout show up? Burnout usually develops slowly. Because of this, and because we tend not to notice the ways in which we are gradually being depleted and drained over time, it is especially important to know what burnout looks like so that you can recognize it more easily when it starts to show up. Here are common signs of burnout in three areas of our lives. 1. Physical. Feeling tired, sluggish and drained all the time, even when it seems like you are getting enough sleep getting sick more often, changes in appetite or sleep habits, headaches, backaches and muscle pains. 2. Mental or emotional. This is all about how we feel and think about our work and probably the area where burnout shows up most uniquely. Be alert for signs such as trouble focusing on your work, feeling interested in it and completing tasks difficulty making decisions and moving forward on tasks, becoming more absent-minded and forgetful, and finding more things slipping through the cracks, feeling overwhelmed and burdened by responsibilities and pressures, feeling like you're falling short of expectations, your own and others, feeling like your work does not really make a difference, feeling used and unappreciated at work, feeling negative about co-worker competence and dedication and the organization as a whole, feeling detached and finding it hard to care about the problems and needs of others, and difficulty caring about your work and whether you do it well. 3. Behavioral. Here are some ways burnout can show up in behavior. Procrastination and having trouble getting started on things, taking longer to get things done, Withdrawing and avoiding your responsibilities, including work itself. Avoiding people in general, being irritable and having an increase in unhelpful coping mechanisms, such as escaping into distractions like TV or increasing use of substances. Tips for coping with burnout. Three principles can help identify effective strategies for preventing and managing burnout and guide self-care decisions and planning on both an individual and a team level. Awareness, 
balance and boundaries, and connection. Awareness is about being attuned and observing your needs, limits, signs of stress, and understanding what is contributing to your experiences. Practice awareness by 1. Watching for early warning signs Know your early warning signs of stress and monitor yourself for signs of burnout. 2. Seeking external input External input from friends, family, colleagues and counsellors or coaches can help us explore or recognise how we are coping. Ask people close to you to let you know when you seem particularly stressed or you are acting out of character. 3. Exploring contributors, reasons and root causes. When you are struggling, try to identify the reasons. This will help you uncover the biggest contributors to your burnout. For example, ask yourself where you are feeling resentment. Often, feelings of resentment point to something important that is missing. Identifying reasons and root causes allows us to explore options for addressing those causes and informs our choices. Balance is about attending effectively to a variety of life responsibilities, such as work, as well as our physical, mental, emotional, social and spiritual needs for things like rest, play and relationships. Maintaining balance often requires intentionally attending to boundaries. Practice maintaining balance and boundaries by 1. Building resilience through self-care basics. Review your self-care routines and actions. What are your habits relating to eating, sleeping and exercise? Where do you find a sense of achievement and meaning outside of work? What do you do for fun? Where are you already good at taking care of yourself? And where do you need to improve? 2. Taking time off. If you are already struggling with burnout, taking time off work will not completely solve the problem, especially if you will be coming right back into the same pressures in work situation. But it will give you time and space to pay attention to some of these basics and consider other changes you can make. 3. Implementing boundaries around work that address reasons. Consider the reasons you think you are struggling. For example, think about patterns and habits relating to your working hours and accessibility. Then, decide on helpful boundaries and patterns you would like to implement moving forward, such as not checking emails after 6 p.m. Coaching can help provide guidance and accountability over time as you work to change your patterns and habits. Connection is about maintaining vital connections to yourself, others, and what is important to you, and restoring these connections when they get fractured or damaged. Connection is not just about relationships with other people. It's also about connecting to sources of meaning, purpose, hope, refreshment, and perspective. Focus on connection by 1. Discussing your experiences with your manager and asking for their support. For example, after you have identified boundaries you wish to put in place, ask your manager what they think you absolutely need to get done, if at all possible, and then ask them how they are going to help you hold the boundaries so that those priorities can be accomplished. This discussion can also open the door for you to explain any constraints you are currently experiencing. The more you can do to help your manager understand your constraints and have realistic expectations of your productivity, the better. 2. Investing in important relationships. Spend time with people you love and respect. Connect with family, friends and colleagues. Make friends at work and look for opportunities for community involvement outside of work. 3. Doing things that help ignite feelings of meaning, purpose or hope. Look for ways to connect or reconnect with sources of meaning, purpose, hope and perspective. For example, you can remind yourself of the importance and value of your work. Practice mindfulness. Take time to reflect. Spend time in nature. Be creative and participate in a faith community. Struggling with burnout does not mean you are failing in some way as an individual. Many people in high-stress roles experience burnout at some point. 
However, burnout is serious. It can impact your health and well-being, work, and important relationships. If you think you are experiencing burnout or headed in that direction, try some of the techniques outlined in this video or seek additional counseling or help.